Hi, this is Vijay, Vijay Kumar Shukla, the trainer for system administration. Just to brief about myself, I am MCT, that is Microsoft Certified Trainer, and I have got other certifications in uh, Cisco, that is CCNA. I am a certified ethical hacker. I have done CC IESSP and CSSA in the security domain. I have got an experience of around 22 years as a trainer. I have worked as a system administrator trainer, cloud trainer, ethical hacker trainer. So here we are going to talk about system administration or the roles of the system administrator. So when we talk about system administrator, so first of all, we should have the idea that what does a system administrator do? So basically system administrator or we call them as a sys admin also. System administrator is a IT professional, is an information technology professionals and their task is to make sure that all the computers, all the devices inside the organization are functioning properly, they are, they are meeting the needs of your organization. The task of the system administrator or the sysadmin is to support, to troubleshoot, to maintain the devices including the servers, the networks, uh, mobile devices, computers, laptops. So these are the basic system administrative responsibility we can talk. We will try to look into more details. So we can say that who is a system administrator, what is a system administrator. So any person who is maintaining or any person who is setting up a system or the server in short is known as the system administrator. So any person who is maintaining or who is setting up or is, uh, did the installation part of the servers or the system or the computers or the devices. So they can be called as a system administrator. And in the organization, we have got the IT department. So your system administrators are basically they are part of the uh, system administrators are part of your IT department. So if you talk about the system administrator, there is always a system administrator has got roles and responsibilities. All the system administrator have got some roles and responsibility we can say as task and responsibilities also. So the main responsibility or we can say the uh, core responsibility of any system administrator is the installation, support and maintenance of the servers or any other device in your network in, in the organization. And as a system administrator you should have a uh, you should have plan also. Uh, for, for example, there could be some service outage, there could be any other issue, there could be um, uh, some uh, network outage, there could be server outage, there could be hardware failure. So in that scenario, what a system administrator is going to do? How you are going to make sure that your network, your organization is not facing any problem with the uh, IT service outage and the service is available. So for that, the system administrator's roles and responsibility if we talk about so any uh, operating system which will be working or uh, which which will be used on server uh, it could be windows it could be linux it could be unix it could be any mac systems and uh, uh, the system administrator will be responsible to upgrade to install or to configure any application software as well application software and any hardware computer hardware also that can be again divided further like uh, there will be team in the system administrator who will be looking after the application there will be team uh, in the system administrator uh, system administrator uh, administrators who will be looking after the uh, hardware part computer hardware then there will be printers there will be backup operators so different different people who will be the part of the system administration and uh, at the same time uh, system administrators are like you know they should have the little bit knowledge or uh, some some knowledge of uh, uh, scripting uh, for the you know and some project management uh, knowledge also they should have so that whenever there are some projects is happening so they should they are part of the project so they should be able to understand the whole process at the same time some scripting scripting for automation of uh, uh, maybe creation of users or maybe uh, some creation of I mean to deploy some applications and to uh, take the backup for these things uh, the system administrators should have little bit knowledge of the scripting and at the same time the system administrators uh, should have the knowledge of reading the logs they should be uh, they should help 
if you got a, a security team also, so they should be helping your uh, security team for the regular security test and security monitoring as well. And uh, troubleshooting is the we can say it is um, it's the main part of, of the uh, system administrator job because usually the client, uh, the users they will have always some issues and they will be uh, chasing the right person to uh, to get their problem solved. So, system administrators will be always on the toe we can say because their main responsibility is to make sure that all the servers, all the uh, computers or the devices are working perfect and they are, uh, on, uh, they are uh, fulfilling the need of your organization. Now, if we talk about the task of the system administrator, so again we can say like a system administrator is uh, the very basic task. You want to create new users that is the very basic thing uh, any system administrator will learn and the new user means any user who is in the organization they will be using their laptops, their desktop or their mobile devices, tablet to log into the system, to log in into the network and access the resources. For that they should have the proper credentials. So, these credentials will be created by the system administrators. Of course, it will be through the policies and uh, they have to be compliant with the regulations and the, uh, uh, with your organization. But the uh, that is the task of your system administrator to create the user. Then many times the user are forgetting the password or you want to change their password. So, that is also task of your system administrator. Then will policies will be created, how to implement that policy, how you are going to implement the policy. So, that will be the task of the system administrator. At the, at the same time, many times what happens that there are, un, there are attempts of, uh, there are attempts for unauthorized um, access to the network or uh, unauthorized access to the computers. In that scenario also, uh, there will be uh, for security reasons, you will have some policies where user accounts will be locked out. So, you should be the system administrator should be able to unlock the user account. At the same time, the system administrator should be, uh, should have proper knowledge that why this particular account got logged out. Uh, then the system administrator should uh, use the logs to go into the details of the uh, uh, reasons like why did this particular account get logged, what was the reason and basically the system administrator should uh, be, we can say, uh, should be part of your security team also, should be uh, supporting security team also. They should be able to read the logs properly, analyze the log proper, logs properly, understanding the events properly, understanding the um, uh, resource users, for example, the uh, CPU use, the processor use, um, the uh, hard disk use, the memory use, so that they can predict the future of the system or the server. So, uh, so that you can have your uh, you know they can the, as a system administrator it's a very important role you will be playing for the continuity of the business continuity of the services at the same time there are many services you will be learning later like there are dns the dacp these are core services so these services are running properly or not they are secure or not uh, they uh, these are properly configured or not if you have got any kind of uh, error in these services so there will be lot of uh, uh, you'll get lot of issues lot of uh, uh, problems in your network, problems in inside your organization. So, that is again a task or we can say responsibility or task of the system administrator to, to have the proper understanding of DNS, DHCP, uh, then uh, if, if you are using Windows, so there is Active Directory, if you are using Linux, so you should have uh, uh, different protocols and services, you should have the knowledge of uh, uh, those things and how to create the users, how to give them permissions at the same time. We have resources, for example, you got the files, you got the printers, you got some folders. So, you want to assign certain permissions to the user, there are groups. So, you should know the permissions basics because a user might be a member of multiple groups. So, if you are assigning uh, different permission to different groups and uh, a user is member of multiple groups, so the permission conflict will happen. So, what you will be doing? how you will make sure the user should get the proper permission or proper resource and any user should not get more than what the user deserves or more than what the user should not get. All these things the uh, system administrator is going to look after and obviously it, uh, it depends on your uh, operating system also what operating system is used on the servers. So, as we discussed that uh, 
the skills when we talk about the skills as the system administrator so your system administrator should have the in depth knowledge of the operating system so you you can have uh, the user or the system administrator who are uh, efficient in uh, um, windows you might have a linux administrator you know, if you got multiple operating system on different servers or you can have people who can look after all the different operating system they should have a in depth knowledge of the we can say subject matter expert they should be of any operating system and they should have proper knowledge of networking that is also that is also very important here uh, the proper uh, uh, knowledge of the networks because you should have proper understanding of the subnettings and uh, we'll you'll see in later parts what is subnetting how the tcp ip works then they should have proper cloud computing knowledge because nowadays everything is has is being shifted shifted on the cloud so they should have proper knowledge what is cloud what is public cloud private cloud how you're going to manage the resources by using the cloud hardware knowledge obviously they should have the proper knowledge of the hardware like uh, they should be able to replace the hardware if it is required and they should be able to do troubleshooting on for, on the hardware whenever it is required and the most important thing they should have the proper communication and the interpersonal skills because they will be communicating lot of people uh, in the organization they will be uh, working in a team also so they they should have the proper communication and the interpersonal skills which will help uh, to make sure that uh, whatever they are doing is actually being properly uh, uh, told or properly being propagated to the uh, correct people or the correct department and they should have a proper they should mainly maximum time they will be in troubleshooting maintaining managing so they should have a proper understanding of all the process in the organization they should have understanding of the business needs of the organization at the same time they have to be uh, very uh, responsive they should be uh, they should have the uh, they should be always very responsive and uh, uh, they have to be very polite and they should have a very good uh, interpersonal and communication skills so these are these are the very basic uh, uh, task we can say or the skills uh, for any kind of system administrator uh, hope you understood this part and uh, uh, we'll continue in the second part after this thank you